Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? It is a very uh, cloudy day in Indianapolis. I'm looking outside right now. It looks like it might even start raining here in a little bit. And um, I just wanted to film a video over here quickly. Uh, kind of, I, I I was thinking about how to do this video, um, and initially I was just gonna do one video, kind of documenting what I did. But I was thinking about it when I got up today and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do two videos. I'm gonna do one kind of explaining what I'm doing tomorrow, and um, then tomorrow I'm going to document actually doing it. For those of you that might wanna do it with me, cause it's a challenge video that I'm doing over here, and I think it's an important challenge video to do. So I'm very excited about doing this. Um, I'm also nervous about doing it. You guys know that I get kind of nervous about making videos over here anyway. I don't know why, but I do. Um, and I, it, because I think it's, you know, I'm not flipping fans and um, I'm not like, I don't know, telling jokes or whatever. So it, it's just me, this is what you get. And um, I always get kind of nervous making videos over here. But I thought that this was where it fit, um, and so uh, I, I want to talk about what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, and I would love for any of you to do it with me and um, share in the comment sections tomorrow your experience with it. Um, so let me explain what this is. Now, if you watch my drama channel, my Peter Mon channel, you know that I get um, contacted to do sponsorships, which a lot of companies call them integrations, collaborations, and I don't um, ever do them unless it is a product that I really, really believe in. So I was reached out to to do an integration. It was initially for Instagram, and after I read it, like I really wanted to participate in what this was, but I only felt comfortable doing it if I donated 100% of the proceeds to the organization that it is about. So I just want to be completely transparent about this. This is a uh, paid collaboration, um, and I didn't even see the money. The money is going straight from the person that contacted me to the organization. So... Um, I just wanted to say that, and I would also, because this is talking about um, an organization that I feel very, it's very close to my heart, um, I would really encourage any of you out there that want to, I will link the information below to donate as well. So let me get into this and explain what it is, all right? And it's this very cool challenge that they have organized here in Indianapolis, and it's for Gleaner's Food Bank. Um, now, let me kind of tell you my history a little bit with Gleaner's Food Bank. When I was growing up in Indianapolis, Gleaner's Food Bank, I don't know if it says on here um, what year they started. Hold on a second. I think it does. Well, they've been around for a long time. It doesn't actually say on here when it started. Um, I can look it up in a second. But um, they've been around forever. And there's been a lot of food banks in Indianapolis that have been around forever. And when I was a little kid, our church that I went to um, was very involved with working at these food banks. So when I was growing up, um, my mom was very involved in helping out with food banks, donating food to food banks, going and feeding at food banks and homeless shelters and things like that. So that was kind of an environment that I grew up in where that was just always something that we did around holidays um, and just throughout the year. We always did food drives and um, I feel like I s used to see more of it when I was growing up than I do now, like canned food drives and things like that. We don't, I don't see as much of that as I used to when I was growing up. But when I was growing up, that was like a really big part of everything that we did. It was just a regular part of our life, like going to the different um, food pantries and missions and um, homeless shelters in Indianapolis and helping out with all of that. So um, going on throughout the years, when I had to do any kind of like paper in school or something about something that I really believed in, I always picked the homeless population. That was something that I just, I, I felt like our family was really involved in. And, um, you know, it was always just embedded in me to be so grateful for the food that we had and a roof over our heads and clean drinking water and things like that. Um, so that was always something that I, like, researched and I wrote about when I was growing up. And when I was about, I actually looked it up to see what year the movie came out. It's a movie called Stone Pillow, and it's with Lucille Ball. And it came out in 1985. So I would have been between 12 and 13 at the time that it came out. And I remember seeing this movie, and I was completely just, like, 
floored by this movie. I had interacted with a lot of people um, that have been homeless or were low income by working in these places, but, you know, and with my mom and things like that. But to actually follow a story of somebody, um, I became very, very intrigued by it. And at that time, um, I remember having lots of conversations with my mom, and she said, you know, you should reach out. And I looked everywhere, you guys, for the response letter for this, and I know it's in my basement. If you've heard me talk about my basement on my other channels, you know that, like, my basement is, like, um, has all kinds of stuff in there. But my mom encouraged me to write to our local senator, or state senator at the time, and um, tell him that I, like, this was something that I w really cared about, and I wanted to know what the state senator was doing about the homeless population in Indianapolis, specifically in Indiana. Um, and I actually got a response from him, and he said, you know, he explained to me, like, what Indiana does, what their initiatives were, and things like that, and um, that's always been uh, something that has been really important to me, and uh, if you know my history at all, you know that I have a master's degree in social work. And so it just kind of carried over into that throughout the years, you know. I worked in addictions for years, and um, finding people resources and things like that was something that was always important to me and part of what I did. So when I was reached out to for this challenge, I was like, oh, wow, like, this is, this is important. Like, I think that this is something that, like, I, I'm supposed to do. So let me read to you the challenge. Um, well, here's the background, first of all. This is for Gleaners Food Bank in Indianapolis. And it says on here, uh, Gleaners was founded in 1980, so I would have been eight at the time, by a group of concerned citizens who felt strongly that no one should go hungry. Since that time, let me put on my reading glasses. <laughs> I'm trying really hard, but my, let me put them on. Okay. Um, since that time, we have distributed more than 520 million pounds of food and critical grocery throughout a committed network of more than 550 food pantries, um, soup kitchens, schools, and community partners. In addition to food distribution, let me put this up here so it's not wobbling so much. Hold on a second. Okay. Um... Since that time, we have distributed more than 520 million pounds of food and critical grocery through a committed network of more than 550 food pantries, soup kitchens, schools, and community partners. In addition to food distribution to hunger relief agencies throughout our 21-county service area, Gleaners also operates fl uh, Fresh Connect Central, one of seven regional produce cooperatives for Feeding America, the nation's largest hunger relief organization. In addition, we are a disaster relief staging site for the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, and the contact re reclamation site for Kroger Central Division. In 2021, Gleaners Food Bank of Indiana is on the fast track to accelerate awareness of food insecurity through Central Indiana through their No One Runs on Empty initiative. Launched in July 2020, the campaign will come to peak during this year's 105th running of the Indianapolis 500 presented by Gamebridge, which is this Sunday. The campaign is funded by a $1 million matching grant from Group 1001 and GetGo and backed by a partnership with Andretti Auto Sport. For the upcoming Indianapolis 500 on May 30th, Marco Andretti will carry the Gleaner's name and mission on his number 98 IndyCar Series, NTT IndyCar Series to highlight the awareness strategy and drive the community, community to donate at gleaners.org. And then the challenge, it says... Just says, thank you for your interest uh, for the Gleaners No One Runs on Empty campaign. Um, and the hashtag is No One Runs on Empty. And um, it's a challenge, but it's just hashtag No One Runs on Empty. And what they're asking is for people to see if they can um, feed themselves on $10.50 a day. And then you can do this any way you feel is organic in nature to your audience, blah, blah, blah. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, I'm really excited about this, right? And here's the deal. So just being completely transparent and honest about this, at first when I got the email, I thought, okay, this is going to be interesting because I only eat one time a day, typically. I don't eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I typically only eat one time a day. But I'm also a vegetarian, okay? Mind you, that's important because I want to do this the way that it would be, I think, authentic to somebody I really want to get the experience and see what it would be like. So then I would go through Starbucks and I would spend anywhere from four to six dollars on a Starbucks. And it really put in perspective for me the privilege that I have to go into any fast food restaurant, any grocery store, any 
my husband and I, we eat out a lot. I think most people know that. You know, to go into these restaurants, to go into these places, and to be able to have whatever I want to eat, right? And not have to think about it. Not have to think about, this is all I have to spend for the day. There have been points in my life when I had a lot less to spend on food, but never really did I have to worry about being able to feed myself. That has never once been a concern in my life since the day that I was born. And what amount of gratitude I should have for that, right? That I've been able to feed myself every single day since I've been alive. Okay, the camera fell behind the bed, so I think I have it sturdy on there now. But anyway, um, you know, the other thing is that I've never had to think about where am I going to cook something? You know, do I have a stove that's heated to cook it on? Do I have clean water to, you know, clean these things with or cook these things, right? And so I really wanted to do this challenge as an experience to remind myself, you know, because I, I don't know that I think that like in one day of doing a challenge of feeding yourself on $10.50 that you're really going to have a full idea of what that looks like, right? But I really wanted to wake up tomorrow, you know, uh, wanting coffee, wanting this, wanting water, you know, and really having to think the whole thing through and really having to realize that these things are things that um, I take for granted on a daily basis. I, obviously, I'm not going to get a full experience of what that's like to, um, you know, eat on $10.50 a day, right? But I do want to have this experience as a reminder when I continue to go forward in my life and I continue to, you know, eat every day and, you know, buy coffee and things like that to remind myself, wow. Like, I should be so grateful for the life that I have been given. And if you watch my Peterisms channel or my vlog, you know that I talk a lot about gratitude. And I think that exercises in action for me are a way that I always learn um, about how to be more grateful in my life. And so I think this is a perfect opportunity for me um, to learn more about this. I would ask those of you out there that are watching this video, you know, just see if you can do it for a day, you know. I'm sure that there are many people that are watching this video that have experienced periods of their life or m much of their life that they couldn't eat on, ten they didn't have $10 a day to eat, right? And I'm sure that there are a lot of people that are watching this video that have been homeless before. Um, and if you feel comfortable, please share your experience in the comment section below or, you know, what you think. I honestly, when I was approached by this, and somebody said, uh, or when they came to me and said about $10.50 a day, I actually thought that was kind of a high mark. I thought $10.50 a day is honestly quite a bit of money, you know, when you think about uh, how much people that are homeless have to feed themselves on a daily basis, you know, I thought, and then if you take that to a family of five, you that's $50 a day. Well, $50 a day is a lot of money, you know, then when you look at it from that point of view. Um, so it's going to be interesting. I want to see what I can do tomorrow as a vegetarian that would want to eat healthy things. Um, but also, you know, thinking about the fact that I don't have any place to uh, cook it. I don't really, I mean, I, I, I'm a, a, going at it from a point of view of being somebody that would be homeless. So I don't have anywhere to cook it. I don't have anywhere to, you know, keep it fresh, like a refrigerator or a freezer, um, those kinds of things, and kind of go forward with that. And what would I, you know, like if I was really thinking about it, what would I be willing to give up? Um in a day. So, you know, like there are just so many things I think about, you know, where it's like I go to the gas station, I get a fountain pop, that's a dollar, you know, or I get a candy bar and that's two fifty. you know what I mean? And there's three fifty. there's 30% of what I would be eating in a day. And it just, I don't know, it puts everything in perspective for me, you know, about really, truly what a blessed life I have. And, um, and I don't want to take that for granted at all. So, um, like I said that at the beginning of the video, um, the proceeds from this video are 100% going to Gleaner's Food Bank. Um, I am also donating money on the side as well. And um, if you guys want to, I would encourage you to. But the least I would ask is that if not tomorrow, um, someday in the next month, you think to yourself, uh, I really want to do this challenge just for a day. That's all you have to do is for a day. 
Okay, I think any of us could attempt to eat, you know, on $10.50 a day. And I know, like, when I first thought about this, I was, like, really thinking, okay, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? And I thought, well, I could buy, like, a bottle of water. And you know the reality is, like, a, like a big jug of water. I don't even know how much a big jug of water costs, you know? So I'm going to go, I'll find that out tomorrow. But then I was thinking about, like, well, you know, I could do, like, ramen noodles. Those are cheap. But where would I cook those, you know, and have, having all that stuff with me, you know, if I was homeless or living in my car or, you know, going from place to place. I mean, I wouldn't have those resources to use. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. Um, and I'm really interested in doing this challenge. And I, and I hope that it brings me even more gratitude than I already have for the life that I've been given. So I would love for you guys to participate in the challenge with me. Um, I will be doing it on Friday, May 28th. Um, and it is the, what is the no one, hold on a second. I want to make sure that I get this correctly. It's called the no one runs, um, on, no one runs on empty challenge. And, um, you don't have to do it that day, but that's just the day that I'm going to be doing it. And I'll be documenting going to the, the grocery store and all of that kind of stuff and kind of showing like what I ended up getting and what I'm going to eat for the day. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys ahead of time, uh, what I'm doing and so I didn't want to put it into you know one super huge long video tomorrow so anyway I would love for you guys to participate with me and um, I'm such a believer in you know actions of experience and learning more about the world so that we can um, so that I can be more grateful for the life that I have so that's what I'll be doing tomorrow I love you guys and I'll see you then bye